So good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Let us meditate on God's word again in continuation to our meditation last week from the temptations of Jesus. And uh, we have read from uh, the book of James and also First Peter, where both of them saying, submitting ourselves to God and thus resisting the devil. Our submission to God gives us the power and authority to resist the devil. So we are seeing how Jesus overcame the first temptation by resisting the devil and how he resisted the devil. And the example was taken from the life of Job. Job resisted the devil. How? He did not mention devil. He never taken the name, devil's name in his mouth. But he simply submitted himself to God by saying, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name. That is submission. Not complaining. The second temptation was, it has to do with uh, testing God. You know, the Jesus Christ was taken to the highest point of the temple uh, in Jerusalem. And uh, the devil said, you now jump and let us see what God said he will fulfill. He will command his angels to hold you up as you fall and so that you will not hurt yourself. That was the temptation. And what was Jesus' uh, uh, response? And how did he resist? He said, no need. He said, I do not need any proof of my father's love for me and care for me. There is no need for me to prove it. Proof is needed where trust is lacking. That is when you seek for proof. When I am not sure. But Jesus Christ was so sure and certain and his trust in his father's love was so great. There was no need for him to prove by jumping. And I always remember this. Here is a man. Jesus Christ. You know, he, 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 he said, I don't need to prove. My trust is enough. And the proof is needed when I am not sure. But Jesus is telling the devil in response, I am so sure of my father's love for me and his protection for me, I don't need to prove it. Here is a man in so perfect a relationship with the with the, with, 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 that he's, with the father, that he simply knew that his father cared for him. And my friends, this is the kind of faith you need to have. And that comes only when you have this kind of perfect relationship with God the Father. When you acknowledge God as your father, you must also realize this. Your father loves you and he cares for you enough. He will protect you anytime there is protection needed. There is no need for you to prove because God is on your side. Let our relationship with God be so, so certain and so perfect that uh, Nothing will frighten us. On the other hand, we have the care and, and love of God the Father who will come to our rescue right on time. He is a very present help in trouble. Remember this. And God bless you as you live your life today and uh, make sure you resist the devil by your absolute trust in God so that the devil will flee away and not you. This is the overcoming life.
and the blessed Holy Spirit help you and trust the Holy Spirit to enable you. Amen.